Good evening everyone and welcome to new principles on range bar trading. This is our second webinar. This is direct continuation from uh, previous week range bar trading. And today we will see the system that is based on range bar trader, trading with uh, all the important knowledge we learned on the, uh, during the previous webinar. So today we will apply that knowledge and I will show you the system that is based on range bars so you can try to trade the markets have in mind that range bar is different from price action trading but uh, conversely for traders who don't want to delve so deep into the price this could be easier way to trade and uh, I think uh, what uh, at least what I have seen and uh, because the, I am the creator of this system, uh, results can be very good, guys, but have in mind that the, most of these trades are based on scalping and scalp swings. So before we begin, as always, our standard disclaimer explains that CFD and Forex trading are leveraged products and can result in losses that exceed your deposits. They, mean they are not suitable for everyone. So this presentation and this video is for informational and educational purposes only. So this video is not a part of the .co.uk website, but the globalyuse.com website. By accepting the risk disclaimer, you are also proceeding further with me. So today's agenda, range bars concept, okay? I will just briefly mention measurement and tools, and then we will move to system directly. So the concept has been established by a trader named Vicente Nicolelis in 1990s. The primary, the primary advantage of range bar trading is actually exploiting volatility to the advantage of a trader. When volatility is going up, when volatility is high, usually there will be more bars printed out. When volatility is low, Conversely, less bars will be printed out. So have in mind that range bar trading is a completely different dimension of trading. We have price action, harmonics, indicator-based systems, Renko, and range bars is, as I say, another dimension to trading. It's a different dimension to trading price action. Primary characteristic of range bar is they must have a high-low range that equals the specified range. Each range bar must open outside the high and low of range of the previous bar and each range bar must close at either its high or its low. Now this is the time guys to actually show you the system. I know that you are waiting for that and uh, we won't be going uh, deeper into range bar mechanics because we already mentioned it guys. If you remember previous week we mentioned it so please uh, if you don't still don't know or you're not sure what range bars are then you can visit our previous recording and you will get a cues from there. Okay, so the first question I see here is that offline range bar chart is not getting updated. It is stuck at yesterday's date. What to do? So the first thing to do is actually to check if this auto trading here, auto trading button on them MT4 is switched on. So it needs to be green like this. If it's red, then it's not updating. Here, it is updating. So I already explained how to install range bars expert advisor, guys. Okay? And let's see the system now. So the first thing you need to do is to see how much pips, how many pips are actually in range bar calculation. So first we need to open a chart. So let's see this is pound dollar. Here you can see numbers. So 13 is the actual number of pips we should put in a range bar for 
pound dollar. Here, you just need to put range bar expert advisor here, right click, go to expert advisor properties, okay, and here in properties, I usually, I, I could have put 13, but I like even numbers, guys, so actually 12, 14, 10, 8, 6, right? So even numbers, I like it more, so I, I put 12. I mean, one pip will not make any big difference. It's not like it's four pip difference, like 8 or 10. It's only one pip, it's 13, so I put 12. Somehow I don't like those numbers. I mean, when, when, when uh, a couple of times when I install it on my MT4, I mean, it, it wasn't that precise. It was a bit uh, strange. Okay, so usually we use even numbers, and here you can also set maximum bars to 10,000, okay, instead of 8,000, okay. And here, guys, this is offline chart. How you open offline chart? First, you need to have, of course, one mini chart. Fine, open data folder. I already showed this, so I won't be repeating it now. You will be able to see that step in next example so let's let's try pound dollar the first indicator that is seen on this uh, chart is actually Haken Ashi candlesticks so these are guys Haken Ashi candlesticks you can see it here these are Haken Ashi very easy to spot very easy to install and you will see different colors with Haken Ashi Okay, so it used blue and red colors, okay, blue and red. If you go to indicators list, okay, here, you will be actually able to see all the indicators I have on my chart. So it's Haken Ashi indicator, moving average, red moving average is 34, see, but I will actually, I need to, I will change the color, guys. I mean, it's much better to have, at least for novice traders, uh, this is blue and 55 is actually red. Both of those are exponential. So, we also have Admiral Markets pivot point. If you go to this chart, this is an indicator. This is the part of Admiral Markets Supreme Edition. So I, I advise you to install this uh, nice little add-on. I mean, it's not little, but it's not small. It's not small add-on, but actually it's quite powerful, literally quite powerful. And here, guys, you can see time frame for pivot points, number of bars to include. So we put daily pivot points. Sometimes, if you see that pip count of a range bar is slightly higher, you can use weekly. If you want to scalp, guys, then divide this, this actual number. So, pay attention. Pound dollar range bars is 13, so I set it on 12. If you want to scalp, then you need to actually put it to 6. So, how we do it? We need to open... Let's see on pound dollar. Pound dollar, one more chart, set it on M1, then also here, you need to actually use this range bars. Instead of 12, you put 6, 6, and 10,000. Okay, give it a slight, uh, I mean, just move it to the left, give it a slight time to load, and then file, open, offline, then here, go to find, yeah, let's see, it's actually six, pound dollar six, let's see, pound dollar M6, you see, GBP dollar M6, double click, okay, here, guys, you see, and just apply the template. If you remember last time, 
I, uh, I, I named this template as RBHA. So here it is. Now you need to actually add one more thing. You need to add stochastic indicator. Place it on 833, low, high, simple. And add one more indicator. That is actually Admiral Pivot Point. Okay, so this is stochastic indicator. And we add one more. It is actually Admiral Pivot here. And instead of daily, we put it to, let's say, 4 hour or hour. Because it's 6 pip, it's OK to be set like this, 4 hour. So here, now we, we made scalping template exactly as similar as our intraday. But here, guys, you see, 4 hour. And our range bars are 6. They have 6 pips in it. So the difference between this one, M6 M and M12, is that this is more like intraday, intraday trading system, while uh, M6 is actually more of a scalping system. So that is, guys, one of the main advantage of having a pre-calculated setup for range bars. Usually you will not see a lot of these examples across the internet because mostly people Mostly people will use uh, fixed range bars. Let's say 3 or 4 pip for euro dollar, same for other pairs. But if you actually do it like this, you might be having an extra advantage in trading range bars. So the primary rule is this. It, it applies to both templates and styles. So M12 here for pound dollar is actually intraday system, M6 is scalping. The rules are clear. When red is above blue, okay, and Heike Neshi is red, when price retrades, uh, retraces sorry, towards uh, moving average, we can have entry. The entry is made either on a break of Heike Neshi with a red candle or with a stochastic breaking below 80. Okay, so those are two entries, whichever hits first. Okay, so here, guys, we can see you, you need at least two points, two wicks on Heike Neshi range bars to connect a trend line. Then when trend line is broken with a red Heike Neshi candle, you enter the market. This is your first entry. Okay? This is your second entry. You need to see at least a very close or at least very close Heike Neshi range bar or at least touch of these. I prefer to see the touch of these moving averages in order to proceed. But have in mind, guys, if you see price action like this, that is actually exceeds, exceeds red and blue, have in mind that there could be a change in a trend. So here, for example, we could still make entries, and our entry would be this range bar here. Okay? So see, you need actually to have a close below with the red, and while still red is above blue, moving average. Now we are actually waiting for a long setup here. So if we see a break, we don't see a very clear trend line. It's too steep. But eventually, if we see a break with a blue pound dollar, this could, would have been qualified as long entry. The thing is that now it's end of day, so we won't be having a lot of volatility in the market. But if it was, if it was for a normal day, then new blue candle would definitely be a long entry. You look at this, stochastic. So probably a new blue candle will have you two signals, for stochastic and for a trend line break. So I think that this is pretty much easy, guys. For uh, intraday system, use daily pivot points. For scalping, use four hour or hourly pivot points. And here, guys, you can actually see that 
Next target here would be close to this R1. For six pip range bars, guys, this is scalping method. So you can even use one bar here, one hour, sorry, one hour pivot. Select from a drop down menu, one hour pivots, and here it is, guys. You see? Every hour, every hour, the, the, uh, these pivot points will change. So this is really a great advantage uh, of uh, having uh, these pivot points. Long entries on this scalping template were actually here. C, blue, K. C, stochastic was not overbought. Then another entry here. See? And so on. Usually, guys, you will see trend line breaks for entries. Stochastic will be a little bit laggy, but that explains if, if you see stochastic, it will be usually a little bit later. See, guys, I mean, this was earlier here. I mean, if you hadn't put a trend line, this would have been your entry on stochastic. I personally prefer trend lines, but sometimes when you see this setup, retrace towards and touch of moving averages, here blue crosses red, so this was your entry. But I really like those trend line breaks that are also good. Stochastic is a helpful indicator for this system, and you can see that it works quite well. So let's say, guys, that you want to to trade pound yen, my favorite pair. You know that I'm quite fond of doing the analysis on pound yen, and I like the pair, really. Its movement is big. I really uh, enjoy trading of that pair. If you want the pound yen, I will show you now how you can also make two templates for both for intraday and scalping. So here we first need to find pound yen. It's a Sporex spot, so pound yen is here. You need to place one minute time frame, okay. You still don't know how many pips range bars will have. Then you go to this template, I call it range bar calculation. It has average true range of 480. It also has moving average of 120, applied to first indicators data, and it's solely run on M15. Okay, solely, remember what I'm saying. On M15, there is no other time frame. Place pound yen. It's 18.58, so it's 18, guys, 18 pips. Now we go to pound yen one minute, okay, and we need to place range bar here. 18, 18, and here 10,000. This is for intraday, guys, okay? Let's, uh, it, it usually needs some time to load up. Okay, so now we go to File, Open Data Folder. Sorry, guys, it's not file, open offline, and pound yen 18. Here it is. See? We need to apply the template. I will, uh, okay, I will use this template, save template, okay, RBHA. Now we go here, M18 template, here it is guys. And let's see, indicators list, Admiral Pivot, it's on one hour, so now we will, close, we will change this to daily. Okay, these are, you see, daily pivots are respected. So now guys, okay, here guys, you, you actually had a long entry. Oh, no, no, this was not okay. Okay, still, we need to change this. It's 34 is 
actually blue. I need to change this blue and here is 55 is red. Okay, it's like this. Template, save template. Here it is. So now guys, obviously, according to this system, this is a short entry by stochastic because trend line is not very clear here. I mean, you could go with trend line on this break, so it would be clear. Definitely, I, I missed this these two weeks. So both stochastic and trend line were actually were uh, signaled. If we had waited for a trend line, we would have needed to see this pound yen close, candle close. But if we went with stochastic, as soon as it started to cross down and hey, Kinesh is red, you enter the market. So I assume that stochastic went yeah here. So actually, this was your candle, the, the start of this candle. So 26 pips since the candle has formed. So once more, guys, pay attention. If you want to make a short entry, red needs to be above blue, okay? This is intraday. Every single candle has 18 pips within. So what you do now, you need to see that red is above blue and that red, Heiken Eshi, is touching at least these two moving averages. If it spikes above them, like in this example, then you need to wait for red candle to form. We see that red candle has been formed, but at the same time, stochastic blue line was crossing 80 from below. If you don't see a trend line break, then you need to actually, as soon as stochastic is starting to cross 80 from below, you enter the market. Otherwise, you need to wait for the close below the trend line. So here, guys, you have actually two possible entries. If you see the stochastic is crossing 80 from below, usually blue line would cross first, and that Haken Ashi range bar candle is red, you enter the market immediately. If you have a trend line, then you need to wait for the candle to close below the trend line. Now, someone might ask, why do we actually, are, why are we trading stochastic as, at the time they are crossing, at the exact time? It's because, guys, I tell, told you at the beginning of the webinar, range bars are volatility tool. And we assume that volatility is high, that is why we can use it immediately before stochastic is confirmed. So the only thing is stochastic needs to go from above 80 to below 80, like here. And as you see, uh, immediately when you see that stochastic is crossing 80 and candle is red, you enter the market. So your entry would have been here. Okay. How do we make pound yen scalping template? First we go to pound yen, then click one mini chart, and now we divide 18 by 2, so it's 9. So it's 9, okay. But because we actually don't like Uneven numbers, let's use 8. 8 and 8. Okay, let's wait a couple of seconds for range bars to lower up. Now we go for file. Open again, open offline. Pound dollar eight should be okay. Did I let's see if I did it correctly? Pound yen, sorry, pound yen. I think it's okay. Pound yen. Oh, sorry, this is it again. 
So nine, nine, or it's eight better. It's better eight. Eight, eight, ten thousand. And okay, here. Now we go to file, open offline, pound yen, eight here guys. Template, this one. Now you have the scalping template. For scalping guys, you see, it's a little bit different. You need to change this to one hour or four hour, we can use one hour. So for scalping, you see, it goes like this. For intraday, this is a short entry. For scalpers, this could be a long entry. But keep in mind that these candles are not the same as Japanese candlesticks. So even if you make scalp of two candles to the upside, it still would count for, let's say, approximately 10 to 12 pips. Don't be confused. You need to exact, you exactly need to decide whether you will be going with scalping or with intraday. My suggestion is that if market is not moving a lot, then you go with intraday. If you see that market is really going in a trend, strong trend, then you can switch to scalping. This is what you manually need to decide. Okay, so you cannot trade, because this is a manual trading system, you cannot trade the same time scalping an intraday. You need to decide yourself whether you will trade intraday, like this 18 pound yen, or 8 pip range bar scalping. You need to observe the chart and see if there is enough momentum and volatility. Stops are obvious. So for this trade, if I enter here, I would play stop loss three or four pips above last high. So if the higher of the candle is 45.70, my stop loss would be, let's say, 75. For long trades, it's different. Let's say that we Let's see, that we have entered here, so my stop loss would be 5 pips below this candle here. One advice regarding management, let's say that you have entered a short here. If the price gets down, I would probably scale out. If it breaks support, then I would move my stop loss here. As the price is falling, I would just move my stops. So that is how you can make nice profits from so-called profit stop. If you have any question, guys, uh, please do ask me. Then I will show you one more example. And we can call it a day, so this webinar is, as I said, continuation for of previews, and uh, the main purpose is to teach you this system and to show you how this system is traded. Okay, no questions now, so I will proceed with one more pair. Let's see that you want to trade dollar yen. Go to dollar yen, place it on M1. Then find the range, 13, 39, so it's 14. So this is 14. Now we go to M1. This is intraday, 14. For scalping, I would play 6. Now we need to find dollar yen on M14.
Okay, is this, okay, let's see, properties. Ah, it's 14, yes. Ah, it's dollar yen, nah, dollar yen, okay. File, open offline, offline, dollar yen, here, 14. Template. See? Into the movement of dollar yen. Now, according to this, we expect dollar yen to go down. So this could be already short here. But you see, market is not moving much now, so I don't see if there is any point to make any uh, trade that is positional. I would prefer scalping for this, so because it's end of day. So we go to dollar yen, one minute. We will use six. Now we go to file, open offline, dollar yen, six. Here, temple, oops, sorry. Template, this one. So guys, now you have actually intraday system and, in, and scalping system next to each other. Scalping template tells us that this it was long here. You see you could have traded trend line break because there was no stochastic signal. If there is anything that is not clear guys, please don't hesitate to send me an email. I hope that you might find this system useful. Have in mind that just that uh, pivot point should be adjusted. For scalping, I recommend either one hour or four hour. I would place here one hour now. And for normal range bar, it's daily. For this, it's hourly. So every hour, these pivot points will change. So if you have any question, guys, do not hesitate to ask me. If not, then we can... Yeah, Ron is saying thanks, but this is not my system. I know, guys, but some people actually ask me to provide them with information regarding trading. Of course, this is range bars. It's different, guys. For example, see scalping... Uh, this is purely scalping. Watch this. Okay, here. Look, I mean, it's scalping. It's not intraday. A lot of trading opportunities. I advise you, if you try to trade it, I advise you not to trade more than two or three maximum entries per one session. So don't over trade it because you might get trapped into revenge trading. Yeah, so you can, you see, you need actually to follow the rules. This is intraday. It can be very strong, but there is trend. Even here, I would play, place an entry. Okay, here. See, candle close above trend line, trend line break. So I think this is it, guys. Uh, this is very easy to install. If you don't have a template and you need it, just send me an email and I will send back to you. I hope that you enjoyed the webinar. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this little movement. I mean, there was not a lot of information for us to place on the chart because chart would get clustered. So I really tend to keep it 
as clean as possible. Only two moving averages, stochastic and, of course, pivots. One of the greatest merits of this system is that it uses also Heike Nashi coupled with range bars. And this is also the template. It tells you how many pips you should place in your range bar indicator. Thank you, Ron. He is saying webinars are always interesting. Yeah, this is different than what we actually work on. Next week, guys, be prepared. We will have a lot of lot of lot more webinars to come. So for your uh, for you who are actually trading price action, okay, we will have Wolf Ways explained. Okay, guys. So Wolf Ways explained. You also have blog today. This is a slight intro to Wolf Ways. We will also be trading this live when live trading session starts. It's a part of price section trading. Okay? And range bar is actually, guys, for, for traders who want to trade something differently and they don't want actually to delve any deeper into price action. So it's I tend to say this is a little bit easier. You see, signals are clear, pretty much obvious here, see? So everyone can profit. Thank you. I don't see any questions, so I assume everything is clear. Thank you guys for listening to me. Uh, uh, Sean is saying, I use range bars every morning. Nice, Sean. Uh, do you use the similar principle? Or uh, you use maybe something different because they're a little different appliance of range bars. They also have my uh, FRB method that I'll share with you. So there are, of course, different. Yes, Sean is saying he uses my range bar system for scalping. That's great. Yeah, FRB, I presume. So it's also very, very good, of course. Uh, uh, the biggest uh, the biggest advantage of trading range bars is when there is volatility. And Sean, you're correct. Usually during London or New York Open, you will uh, see a lot of movement. I presume, yes, that you are from US, that then you are trading actually New York. So that's great. Uh, New York Open uh, is usually very fast because New York stock traders join in, and when New York Stock Exchange opens, that is the time when we see a lot of movement, especially in yen pairs. Don't forget, guys, that every yen pair, of course, dollar yen, pound yen, uh, Australian dollar yen, is connected to equities markets. Yes, uh, Sean is saying that pound yen is his favorite. I mean, it's been my favorite too. So I like to trade, to trade a dragon pound yen. It has really a good potential for nice setups. Money maker, indeed. If you are either cor correct side of a trade, it can be a money maker. Indeed. So if you have any other question, guys, do not hesitate to ask me. Uh, yeah, one more thing. Don't forget that if you're using 6-pip range bars, your admiral pivot should be 1 hour or 4 hour. You can use 1 hour. For 14 dollar yen, you can actually use daily. So on 14, on this standard calculation, we use daily. Okay? And thank to, thanks to you too. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, guys, for all of you who celebrate Christmas. Uh, and uh, I, we will still have more webinars to come uh, tomorrow with Chris. On, on Monday, we will do session recap. We had a nice uh, euro dollar long on session recap. Today we actually are short, so every day new opportunity, guys. And of course, I wish you happy holidays and Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. Uh, and uh, I wish you to trade safely till the end of the week. Don't over trade. Try to use range bars if you like it. And expect new analysis.
Thank you, guys. Cheers. And as always, trade safe. Bye for now.